Nosy Rosie. Welcome <laughs> back. Time for some 814. Each of Janet just said I was nosy Rosie. I was like, what's in Ooh. there? We've got Chef Janet DeGenero, and we are getting ready for her Easter dinner. Italian Easter dinner, ladies. <laughs> what do you when think? The moon hits your oh, there's the music. Like a big pizza pie. That's, That's amore. Amore. The wine. I did bring the wine. That's your wine, Morgan, so that's, you can take it back today. <laughs> you just borrowed it? I just borrowed <laughs> it. It was on my bar. Hey, let me tell you, we don't need that ham. We don't need that turkey. We don't need no green bean casserole. We can do <laughs> Italian food Ooh, for Easter. I okay, so. let's think outside the box. I you love that. I do too. You know, I get tired of traditional things, so I thought we'd just ramp it up. And I've got a sauce here that won a famous award. Ooh. Okay, it's a chef award mm. called the James Beard Award. And a lady chef, years and years ago, decades, made this sauce, and she won this outstanding chef award. And it's called One, Two, Three Sauce. Okay. And here you go, girls. It's the 28 ounce size can of crushed tomatoes. They need to be peeled. Okay. Make sure they're peeled. You make sure you get them all crushed. If they're not crushed, you can put some gloves on and crush them yourself. Then, this is a pound of butter here, less a stick. There's okay. four sticks in a pan. And how much do you put in? One stick. Oh, okay. Which is eight <laughs> tablespoons of butter. And then we take, this is, I didn't have another onion, but I brought the one that I use. You take one onion, you peel it, you cut it in half, and you plop it in there. The whole thing. Does it matter what type, like, do you want a sweet onion? Just a white or a yellow onion okay. will do fine. And that's one, two, Three. That's it. That's it. You let that simmer for 45 minutes. The onion falls apart. You do Ooh. not have to serve the onion. You can certainly discard that. But it's something about, I'm telling it you. It smells it's really good. It's Look at that. Butter the butter. And then <laughs> I decided to pair that today with some potato cheese pierogies ooh, instead ooh, of ooh. making raves or doing spaghetti. And this is just, I know y'all were talking about frozen food month mm -hmm. on it is. the other day. But this is something that you can get in the frozen food, just the, any type of a store-bought pierogi. Yeah, this is a potato and cheese pierogi that okay. I brought today. Oh, it today. sounds so good. And I, every time I know you're coming, I don't have breakfast because oh, yeah, right. it's 10 a.m. I'm ready. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to put a few of those on there. I'm going to save these for you girls. Thank when you, When I thank put you. your plate. Look how beautiful. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of this off. And make sure and get those tomatoes. Okay. And you can eat the um, onion if you want, Ooh. right? Oh, yeah. I'm an onion girl. I I'm like going onion. in here. Then I've got forks over here for you, darling. Oh, you sure? And no, wait a minute. we got to put some cheese. Morgan's getting way too excited. <laughs> it, really good, it. it really does. Okay. Did you see how I'm just like gravitating to the plate? plate. Oh, we, we don't do, need a plate, we can Janet. Do our own. This is home style. Okay, is... y'all do whatever you want. Okay. Whatever floats your boat. You know, I've always oh, got a couple a of bait. jokes for you. Okay, what Did do you, you what hear do you got? about the Boston chef that died? No, what happened? They could not find the sauce of his illness. <laughs> Janet. Yep. And why did the chef add the extra oregano to the sauce, which I did not do? Mm-mm. Why? He was making up for lost time. You can use these jokes at your Easter one. dinner, by the way. Yeah. All right, so the 28-ounce can of mm. Italian tomatoes that are peeled. This crush is delicious. Them, one onion peeled, cut in half, one stick of butter, which mm. is eight tablespoons. I put just a splash of salt because of That's the acidity. Good. Also, you can dip the bread in your sauce. Okay. Y'all want some more? I here? think the onion would be good too. Did you get to taste any of that, Morgan? It's a big one. I, I want to. <laughs> I don't have that on camera, but I will off camera. I'll show oh, you something in my mouth. Oh, so good. So. Yeah. Chef Janet, I've always wondered, did you grow up Italian or did you marry an Italian? No, I married an Italian. And you uh, became an honorary Italian? 
Okay, yes, I'm an Italian <laughs> wife. That's all I know. I'm well, an Italian wife and an Italian mother. And do you call it sauce or gravy? I call it sauce. Some people in my family call it gravy. You know, so, <laughs> I mean, you can do either one. I know in your area, y'all call it gravy. Up oh, in Jersey, I call it, don't you? Everyone thinks I'm Italian. I'm not. I just love the food. <laughs> I mean, I think Italians have some of the best food. Also, they some do. of the best company. And just the jokes and socializing. What are you going to be doing with... And um, you know, I'm about the sauciest person in the world because I'm running on a high heat index. <laughs> girl, because I'm so smoking hot. So. What are you going to be doing for Easter with uh, um, Bobby? I don't know. I think we're making raviolis and sauce and meatballs. Morgan Easter, likes so. it. If you couldn't tell, when it gets quiet and Morgan just stands here and eats, she's do your like, thing. Rebecca, you do your thing. Y'all do your thing. Easter flare. I'll just I listen. finally figured out how to make some rabbit ear and napkin foam oh, look how with sweet. a little boiled egg and some carrots in his ears. Wow, how'd you do that? Just created it out of the refrigerator with a napkin last night. That's All really this adorable. I just pulled together in like three minutes last night. Made this sauce 40 minutes before I came to the studio. Oh, Everything's it's done. Delish. Quick fix with me. And you don't need to make everything all complicated. And Janet, yeah. what's so great is that people can have this experience, like the dinner parties you do. You'll even yes. do a birthday party. Yes, just call anything. me up, 814-515-1191. I'll talk to you while I'm vacuuming. I'll give you, you got one lifeline. <laughs> call me and ask me a recipe. And for so the dinner party, you cook, you clean, and then you ghost. Then I ghost. That's it. Oh, I take your money before. Before I ghost, but that you know that all goes with it. But anyway, yeah, it's a that. fun time. We can do a breakfast, we can do mm -hmm. a lunch, we can do a dinner party, uh, we can just do anything that you would like to do. Uh, and Chef Janet is a world of entertainment. Oh my we gosh, that. we love you. Know, and I don't you. even charge you for that. <laughs> okay, we're the down the gates before the pool opens. Yo, yeah, yeah, we're <laughs> Mr. D's home right now, getting ready. Hi, Bobby. Remind people one more time the best way to get a hold of you and also even past recipes are on your website. Yeah. They are or their own Studio 814 or you can find us through Facebook. Sip and saute. Sip and saute, Chef Janet. Okay, Morgan, it's your turn. I'm going to eat now. I was going to okay. say, I'm going to do 814-515-1191. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. That's the number. Thanks, Chef Jan. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm. I know. Mm. It's taking everything in me not to just... Some you know who we okay. might share with? If he's good, of course. No one. Mark Mancuso. I've been watching you guys. Save me some. You know, I'm part Italian, too. So I'm sitting here salivating. So I, I expect a nice big plate. Uh, looks uh, delicious. Do we have a little gravy coming up on the radar?